Hi, it's Trashy. I thought I'd review some more kit for you today. I'm going to be talking about my tactical assault vest. Uh, it was really recommended to me at the beginning. People said to go for a slightly lighter lo loadout. Um, I tried a drop leg holster and a flight pack. I couldn't really get on with the drop leg holster. It might have just been me, but I tightened the straps up numerous amounts of times till my leg nearly went blue. Um, and I just found that it moved around a lot. I ended up laying on it, or, you know, going from prone to crouch. It was kind of just really awkward. Um, it ended up getting the gun covered in mud and it got wet at one point. Um, it just didn't seem to work for me. So the alternative was to go for something like this. This is a tactical assault vest. So I'm going to call them a plate carrier. Um, it was super cheap. It cost me £26 including delivery. You know, you can find these in the UK for sort of up to about £100 depending on what accessories it comes with. Um, and you can find some different branded ones and ones that are sort of military spec that go to two to £300. I was looking for a beginner loadout, something quite cheap that would get me going. Um, and this was perfect. It had some fantastic features as well for the price. So, you know, it's covered in mollies front and back. If you're not sure what mollies are, I see these little loops on the back. Allow you to put all different sorts of attachments on it here. You know, you've got your ID patch. Um, pouches for magazines, medical bags, uh, pouches for pyro and grenades, hydration packs you can put down the back. Um, you know, so it allowed me to have lots of versatility with this vest. Um, also the price and the fact that it comes in six or seven different camos and colours um, made this a great addition to my kit. So the things that really sold it for me is that these ID pouches are quite handy, especially if there's a lot of you in the same kit. It can really help to identify you to your surrounding team members. Um, and this actually come with the vest. Um, also great for putting a speed loader in or a torch or something like that. Um, so you've got that little bit of uh, identification and some uh, pockets for putting stuff in. But the uh, vest come with some other stuff as well. So come with one of these. This is a medical pouch. Um, it's got the molly attachments on the back. Um, this is great for gloves, uh, scrim nets, hats, chocolate, um, you know, just the basic things that you might need while you're out on the airsoft field. Um, really good pocket, as I say, with the mollies on the back. It means that you can put it anywhere on the vest, front or back. Um, comes in quite handy, so this comes with the vest. Um, and this was the thing that really sold it to me. Um, this is a triple magazine holder. They sell in the UK for about £15. This one comes with the vest. Um, it's got the molly attachments on the back as well, so you can just put it anywhere on the vest. makes the vest super versatile. Um, I've got my L96 mags in here. They sit, fit perfect, but I'm almost positive that you would fit um, a mid-cap or an M16 mag in here. So all of this, all together, and the delivery, um, as I say, 26 quid, super cheap. Um, works really well. Now there's a few features to this vest that I only found out about after I got it and it really does put it up there with some of the other more expensive vests on the market. So in the back of here is a velcro hole or pocket and it allows you to put a heavier plate in if you need to. To be honest I try and keep my kit as lightweight as possible um, so I've just got a lightweight one in here but it does mean that you can put the hydration bladder directly inside the vest means that you can put some extra accessories on the back and feed the hose out of the top and then over your shoulder and you know you can hydrate yourself while you're out on the field easily um, and it means that it's all tucked away. You have the same pocket in the front. Um, now I'm not sure exactly if you'd want to put a hydration bladder in the front but it does allow you to have a little bit of extra storage if you need to. So a scrim net or maybe a poncho or a waterproof overall would fit quite nicely in there. You could tuck it away. If you don't need to use it, it's kind of not on your person. You don't really have to worry about it. It gives you a little bit of extra padding and it's tucked away quite nicely. So, absolute bargain. Um, you know, real looks really cool as well when you've got all your kit on. It kind of makes you feel... Um, you know, a little bit more protected from any of the heavyweight BBs that are fired at you by the snipers. Um, you know, it's a good looking piece of kit um, and it's great for if you're a noob to, put to uh, airsoft like I am. Um, you know, it helps you just kind of mesh in with the rest of the guys and get stuck in. Also for your radio, um, this is a great addition. So I've used the radio three or four times now properly out in the airsoft field. Um, you know, had it actually fully wired into my vest um, with the communication PTT button. So that's a press to talk button. Um, I put it here, it worked fantastic. Um, there was no cables running all over the place. It didn't get um, caught up in any of my gear. So, 
good piece of kit, um, something I definitely recommend for you guys that are considering airsoft. As I say, it's a, a real cheap one as well, so you don't have to worry about spending hundreds of pounds on getting yourself a nice uh, vest, and they look super cool. So, if you have any questions about this vest or anything you want to know, let me know. There will be links in the box below. Um, if you have any other questions about airsoft, uh, feel free to send me uh, any questions that you have or just comment in the box below. I will be doing some reviews of some extra kit. I've um, got some new safety goggles, I've got a new radio, I've got a ton of kit coming. Um, I've got some new accessories for my gun as well. Um, and I've got some reviews of some of the stuff that I have used previously. So, as I say, um, you know, have any questions, ask me. Hope you enjoy my videos. Take care and thanks for watching.